Hey, I'm Samurai Man. I used to play Splatoon 1 competitively years ago, and the weapon I mainly used was a Dynamo Roller. The weapon makes a return in Splatoon 3, it has Sprinkler as a sub weapon and Tactic Cooler as a special weapon. Do you want to learn how to use Dynamo Roller? You've come to watch the right video. Consider subscribing for more Splatoon 3 videos. Dynamo Roller is a heavy and slow version of a regular Splat Roller, but it's really good at inking RS, which is why Splat Zones in Ranked is my favorite mode, followed by Tower Control. Dynamo Roller was nerfed in Splatoon 2. It was first at inking RS and its killing power was taken away. But they added Vertical Swing, which gave more options to approach middle stage or pressure a player in longer distance. For Splatoon 3, I feel they brought back what Dynamo felt like in Splatoon 1. It covers a lot of area again. Not only this weapon is good at covering areas, but it's really good at covering angles like these, which other weapons may not be able to handle. This pressures anyone to move away, otherwise they will be killed by your Dynamo swings. You usually want to jump while you are going to swing, but make sure you don't swing and jump at the same time to do vertical swing. I find it situational to use, but it's good at pressuring enemies farther away. Dynamo Roller can one-shot player if you are close enough to them and you hit them with the middle part of your swing. It's not consistent, but it does have power to get kills. Personally, I like to control with Dynamo, not go for kills. Playing objective is Dynamo's strongest suit, especially if it's flat zones. Being on a high ground and just swinging up there to cover a zone can be really hard to challenge without going after the player who's using Dynamo. Of course, this weapon has its weaknesses. Like I mentioned, it's slow, so you want to be aware when you want to swing Dynamo, otherwise Sniper can get an easy kill on you. Blasters are also Dynamo's nightmare, they can cut you off from retreating. But the biggest weakness, in my opinion, is not being able to get control back. When you stay nearby your spawn and enemies keep distance from you, it makes it really hard to take control back. What you can do is to approach carefully, trying to cover their area and take control back. What gear abilities you should use? Each swing drains a lot of ink. Normally it takes 5 swings to drain your whole tank, but with a single ink saver main on a main slot gives you 2 extra swings. Ink resistance up is good to have. If you get cocked by an enemy ink, you're not slowing down too much. Ink recovery up is great combined with ink saver main. Any other ability does work, it's up to you, but these three abilities I mentioned are quite essential to have equipped when playing with dynamo roller. Here's couple dynamo tips too. If you have already swings with dynamo and you need to cover a small part of a wall to swim up afterwards, what you can do is to jump next to a wall and cover it with ink. For tall walls, you would want to use vertical swing instead. This can cover from the top to the bottom, making it faster to climb up for you. If you have any questions about Dynamo Roller, leave a comment and I'll answer your questions. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.